Hey, what's going on YouTube? So you know it's best here. Here with a What's in My Dock video where I'm going to show you some cool applications out there for the Mac that you can download right now. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. And the first application I'm going to show you is called App Tamer. And what this application allows you to do is, is say you're using a very CPU intensive application like a, a Photoshop or Final Cut Pro, something like that. And you want to take a break to go surf the web or play a game or something. And you just want to freeze those applications. Don't necessarily want to close them all the way out. Uh, this application will allow you to do it. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate this. I'll open up uh, Firefox and I'll open up Safari and I'm gonna switch to the App Tamer application and both of those application windows just dim just like that so they dimmed out and that means that they're frozen in state they're not using any CPU usage at all just as you see right here so when you're playing back a YouTube video using flash or something like that that can use your CPU a lot so I got a YouTube video right there on the uh, YouTube page in Firefox but it's not using any CPU because I have a frozen in state and uh, if you don't want applications to uh, uh, to be frozen you can just simply uncheck them like this and they're not going to be frozen at all and you can simply turn it off and on right here it also has a gaming mode it just freezes everything but the game uh, that you're playing which is really good I know a lot of gamers really like that feature so that's called App Tamer. It is free to try. Uh, they do ask you for like $10 to get a registered version, but I had it for a few weeks now and I can still use the regular version. So um, there you have it. <laughs> there you have it there. Uh, but the second application I'm going to show you is called Plex. And this is an older application that just got revamped uh, a few weeks ago. And this is one, an application that gives you a lot of access to your music, your photos, your video content that's on your computer, but also that's up in the cloud or up in the web as well. And what I'll show you today is just the video plugins, which I spend most of my my time at so I have the CNET one Hulu Netflix revision 3 uh, and the YouTube one as well and so the Netflix one does require you to log in with your account of course and the Hulu one doesn't always work for me but uh, the YouTube one is very useful it's very simple to, just to browse through them to look through the most viewed for today this week or all time and you find a video that you want to watch just go ahead and watch this video by Freddie W awesome youtuber if you haven't seen his videos yet definitely go check him out uh, Freddie W and um, so here it is right there and the video plays back very fast the quality is pretty decent as well and uh, you can use the keyboard with this application just use the arrow pad or you can also have there's a plug-in to use the Apple remote with this as well so this is called Plex and this is absolutely free and the uh, last application I'm going to show you, or the last plugin here, was going to be Mock Desktop. And this is what you see right now. So this is actually playing back my uh, YouTube video that I made, but this is the, uh, the QuickTime um, version format of that video. And I just was able to play it back as a desktop wallpaper. So I'll go ahead and open up the system preferences for Mock Desktop. And uh, so you can choose uh, any QuickTime movie, or you can choose to have it show a web page. And for some reason, I got it chosen on the YouTube web page, and it'll automatically refresh it. And uh, for, you can't navigate the web page at all, uh, not that I know of, so it's kind of pointless. I mean, you may, like a newspaper or something like that, you can read an article right away every time you refresh. Um, but you can do that if you want to. I'll switch back to the uh, QuickTime video. And also, another cool thing of it is these widgets. So you can tap on these widgets. So the widgets, normally, you have to hit the... Uh, F4 button on your uh, keyboard there to activate widgets in Mac OS 10 normally but this will allow you to put those widgets right on your desktop just like so and if you want to get rid of one just hit close like that and so you can have a weather widget, you can have a stock widgets um, you can have a sticky notes right here so this is actually pretty useful to put the put the widgets right on your desktop a lot of people usually ask me how to do that as well so those are three things I think you may find interesting to download for your Mac any other cool applications you want me to take a look at leave a comment down below and I'll put a link um, at the end of this video link into a playlist which I have all my videos featuring my what's in my doc videos which I went over a lot of applications that you may have missed in the past and you're going to get caught up on those anyway thanks for watching this video and I will catch you later peace